Well, new tonight, University City residents met to discuss the possibility of new housing coming to the area. People there are speaking up about how the community should move forward. Our Sarah Allegre spoke with people for and against the extra housing, and she joins us live with that story. Sarah. Yeah, Kathleen, some big changes could be coming to the University City or UTC area. Spanned out over the next 30 years, it is prompting those some mixed emotions as to what exactly those changes will be. Some pushing for more high density housing like this, while many others asking to leave their neighborhoods as is. Hi, uh -huh. would you like to sign a oh, petition? A mix of voices Tuesday in a University City planning meeting fighting either for or against what could lead to more high density housing. The decisions being made here now will be directly affecting myself, my generation. With the last update back in 1987, contention now building surrounding how the city plans to develop over the next 30 years. The city can't even fill potholes. So whatever idea you guys have in your head about solving the housing crisis and doing so by destroying a community, you only need to look as far as downtown, Ash Street, any number of failed initiatives that city leaders have accomplished. Meanwhile, others in and outside of University City vying for plans that could prompt tens of thousands more units between the years 2025 through 2050 near the UTC Transit Center. Jesse O'Sullivan is in favor of the move. He says it's a step that could tackle the citywide housing crisis. I'm fighting for a city that my kids are going to be able to afford to live in. And um, the only way we're going to get there is if there's a place for them to live. Plans also include cutting the popular Governor Drive down from two to one lane to accommodate for bike lanes. Bonnie Kutch has lived in the area for the past seven years and had plans to never move again. She says the push for more apartment units will have an adverse effect on housing issues down the road. It's going to raise all the rents for people trying to rent here. It's going to um, add a surplus of housing. We're already overbuilt by about 15,000. Um, small units, rental units. We need single family homes. Now, there are still several other public hearings on the agenda and still until plans are set in stone. Now, plans should be finalized by the end of this year. For now, that's the very latest from UTC. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.